Hey YouTube, this is TheHacker13, and in this video, I will be showing you on how to downgrade your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad from firmware 4.2.1 to 4.1. So as you can see, I currently have firmware 4.2.1 on my freshly restored iPod Touch 4th generation. So as you can see right there, the version is 4.2.1. So now let's get on to the tutorial. Okay guys, so step number one is to make sure that you have your SHSH blobs saved for firmware 4.1. So the way to tell this is if you have a jailbroken device, when you open up Cydia, if at the very top it says in green writing SHSH colon and then it says a 4.1, then you have your 4.1 SHSH blobs and you will be able to do this tutorial. Unfortunately, if you do not have your SHSH blob saved, you will not be able to do this downgrade. So I'm just going to show you a quick picture since I got one on my desktop. So that's pretty much what it looks like. I'll zoom in for you. So at the top of Cydia, if it says SHSH iOS 4.1 and then it shows other firmwares, it doesn't matter about the other firmwares, as long as you have firmware 4.1 right there, then you will be able to downgrade using this method. So if you have your SHSH blobs for 4.1 saved to your device, then you'll be able to move on to the next step. Alright guys, so the next step, step two, is that you want to go to this directory on your computer. So there is the one for PC, and here is the one for Mac. And remember, I will have both of the directories in the description down below so that you know where to go to find the next file. So since I am on a PC, I'm just going to copy the top one. And I'm going to open up computer. Paste it into there. So once you have gotten into that directory on your computer, you should see a file called hosts. So for me, it's at the very top. It may be different for you, but you just want to double click it. And then you want to double and then you want to open it with Notepad. I would recommend that. I don't know what program you would use to open it with a Mac, but for PC users, I would recommend using Notepad. So then just simply click OK. And then this will pop up. So I'm just going to maximize it. And yours may look completely different, but all you got to do is go down, scroll down to the bottom, and then you want to click right below the last thing. Make sure there's no spaces. Just click below the last thing. And now we're going to copy another thing to the host file. So this right here, 74.208.10.249 space gs.apple.com. So I will have that in the description down below for you to copy. So you simply want to copy it. And below the very last thing in your host file, you want to click paste. Exactly like that. And then you want to click file in the upper left hand corner. It may be different for Mac users and you just want to save it. So now that's saved, you can simply exit out. And now you should be able to move on to step three if you're able to do that correctly. the 4.1 firmware for your specific device. So for me, I already had it on my computer. As you can see right there, it's on my desktop. And if you're able to find it, I would recommend leaving it on your desktop, just like I have. And if you, for some reason, can't find the 4.1 firmware, then I would recommend going to a website, and I'll have a link for it in the description down below. But just go to that website, and you will be able to easily download the 4.1 firmware file for your device. So basically, that was step three, just get the 4.1 firmware file on your desktop or find it and put it in a file or directory in which you can remember. Alright, so number step four is pretty easy. First, you just want to open up iTunes. And while it's opening up, I'll just say make sure that you have your device plugged in. So now that iTunes is open, if you haven't already, plug in your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad and with it on. So now what we're going to do is once it is plugged in, you're going to hold down the power button and you're going to slide the power off. Then you're going to hold down the power button for two seconds, 1001, 1002, then press the home button while leaving down the power button for 10 seconds. 
After 10 seconds, you can let go of the power button, but leave down the home button. So what we're doing here is putting our device into DFU mode. So once iTunes recognizes it, it should say your device is detected in recovery mode. And remember that your device's screen should be black. If it is not black and it has an iTunes logo, then you did it wrong. And this, rest this um, downgrade will not work. So then what you're going to want to do is you want to hold down the shift key on your PC. And I'm not sure what it is for Mac. I believe it's control key, but I'm not really sure. So you just want to hold down the shift key and then click restore at the same time. And if you've done it correctly, then a window should pop up. And then you just want to go to your desktop and select the 4.1 firmware that you either downloaded or you found on your desk or you found on your computer. And then you just want to simply click open. And then you want to click restore. So now iTunes will continue to do its thing right there as you can see. And I will be back. finished. Here is you should see your device freshly restored. And you can simply go to settings, general, about. And as you can see, my device now has firmware 4.1 on it. And if you ran across any errors, like um, while it was restoring, like any number or code errors, and it didn't allow you to finish the restore, and then it put your device on with like the iTunes logo on the screen of your device, then there I will have a link in the description for a download to a program called RecBoot. And if you ever get an error in iTunes, like near the end or the middle, then what RecBoot will do, it will it will exit your device out of recovery mode if you have the iTunes logo on it, and your device will still be downgraded. So even though you get an error, so if you get an error while trying to do this, you know don't panic and then just restore it back to 4.2.1. Use a program that I will have a description. Um, a link in the description down below. Use that program called RecBoot to exit out of recovery mode, and your device should still be downgraded to 4.1. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video.